Hi everyone, it's good to be back. I've really missed you. It's been a few weeks since I've made a video and I've been really looking forward to the opportunity of sitting down with you. And today we will discuss the difference between male and female skin and some gift ideas for the men in your lives that either don't want to do uh, too much skincare or they need it done in 10 seconds flat no fuss so near the end i'll have some recommendations for you for that so please enjoy give the video a thumbs up uh, feel free to share with your friends and of course subscribe simply put the primary difference between the skin of men and women is the effect or the multiple effects of testosterone the first one being increased sebum production. The production of sebum contains many complex molecules, including fatty acids and triglycerides, and overall it causes a decrease in the pH of the skin, which is protective for the skin, as well as increasing moisturization hydration of the skin by preventing transepidermal water loss by having that oily coat on the skin. Sebum also acts to hydrate and moisturize facial hair. In addition, it actually increases the microcirculation of the skin, which in general is a good thing, except for cases where it can lead to rosacea. And of course, overproduction of sebum in teen boys is the root cause of acne. Now, of course, men who shave change that balance, at least on their mid and lower face because they remove the outermost layer of the epidermis. It's kind of like baby dermaplaning. So their skin barrier is compromised and their transepidermal water loss may be increased. Their sebum production per se is the same, but a lot of the sebum is removed, compromising the skin barrier. And then of course, they're more prone to irritation and redness in particular because of the increased blood flow. In addition to all of these factors, testosterone also plays a role in the balance of insulin and glucose levels. And the way this affects the skin is by diminishing advanced age glycation products. And end glycation products in the skin cause inflammation, oxidation, and basically the signs of aging are accelerated. That's why it's commonly said that sugar is bad for your skin because it increases the sugar levels and the glycation products, which can then deposit in your skin. So what would be the skincare needs for a man? And I think the answer actually differs slightly depending on whether someone shaves or they don't. In both cases, decreasing sebum production and decreasing pore size would be beneficial. In the case of shaving, we have a few more elements to think about. We need to protect the skin barrier. We need to provide hydration, stop the water from escaping through transepidermal water loss, reduce any sort of redness or irritation from the shaving process itself, supply antioxidants to protect from the environment, and calm and soothe the skin. In someone who doesn't shave, I think the primary goal is really controlling oil production, controlling pore size, and in that case, actually encouraging exfoliation with chemical or physical exfoliation because we don't have the shaving component to take care of that. And of course, lastly, for everyone across the board, sunscreen protection, both to protect from potential cancer, but also from the aging process caused by the sun. Having said all that, uh, let's talk about skincare for a few minutes. So in terms of cleansers, I know it's difficult. Some men just use soap, some use their shower gel. And I suppose as long as you cleanse your face, you know, that's great. But ideally it would be good to have a gentle face wash. One that has salicylic acid will help break up the sebum a little bit. One that has alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic and lactic will help increase the cell turnover and slough off the dead skin cells 
for someone, for instance, who doesn't shave. So from Skin Better Science, the Oxygen Infusion Wash is a really good one. Neutrogena, I believe, has a good one with salicylic acid. Again, it's a common ingredient in face wash, so it's not difficult to find. The only trick with it is you have to leave it on your skin for 20 to 30 seconds to actually gain some benefit from the product. If it's just applied and immediately washed off, you, you don't actually give the beta and the alpha hydroxy acids enough time to do any of the work that they're designed to do. They're just flushed down the sink. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. Gazeo Skin Health has a gentle cleanser. They have an exfoliating cleanser, which has little micro beads that help do a very gentle physical exfoliation. To the dual action scrub, which I actually have right here, my son uses this. Um, and this is more uh, for oily skin, again, to break up that sebum and help clear acne. So this is another good one. But as I always say, any cleanser that you like, whether it's scent-free or you use one because you enjoy the scent, doesn't really matter. The, it's a, it's a basically a three component skincare. You must wash your face, you must have an all-in-one encompassing hydrator and sunscreen, and that's it. So moving along to the second step, there are two products that come to mind when I think of men's skin. The first one is from Skin Better Science. It's called Solo, and it was specifically designed for men. So it addresses all of the issues I have just mentioned. It soothes and calms the skin. It deals with redness and irritation. It deals with sebum, and it provides many of the antioxidants, in fact, all of the antioxidants that are found in Alto Defense Serum for women. So it's Alto plus calming and soothing plus anti irritation plus sebum control. So it literally is all in one. So to give you some specific ingredients that are in Solo, they have. <laughs> Some of these are tongue twisters to Apundia ficus indica stem extract, which soothes and um, provides water binding properties, so it basically hydrates. Sea whip extract, which is soothing. Then there's aminopropyl ascorbate phosphate, which is a patented form of vitamin C. And there's vitamin E as well, and ectoin and hydroxy ectoin, which uh, also defend from environmental stressors. There's glycerin and hyaluronic acid in here, as well as, again, a lot of the antioxidants that are found in Alto, and those include turmeric, cocoa, green tea, licorice root, um, what else? Uh, um, olive, olive fruit extract, linoleic acid, salicylic acid, superoxide disputase, ubiquinone, and it goes on. So I, I don't want to list you the whole, I don't want to read you the whole list of ingredients. Um, so that is a fantastic product that is all encompassing. And the second product that is similar, it's not designed just for men, but it really also is something that has a little bit of everything, uh, is the Zeo Skin Health Power Defense. This has a little bit of retinol, it has antioxidants, it has DNA repairing enzymes. So again, the, the ingredients are different, but the goal is to sort of give a little bit of every sort of category to have a very good single product that takes care of almost everything. In terms of sunscreen, I chose two sunscreens that I thought would be best for men, um, and I'll explain how I came to that decision. Uh, the first one is the Skin Better Science uh, SPF 75 lotion in the tinted form. And the reason I chose this one is because it is tinted, but it's a very light tint. It's extremely easy to blend. So whether there is facial hair or no facial hair, you really don't need a mirror and you don't need to spend a lot of time blending in the sunscreen. And it's got an excellent SPF protection. And the second one I chose is also from Skin Better Science and it is their SPF 56 stick. 
And the reason I chose that one is also because it has really no white cast. It's very easy to distribute. So again, whether there's facial hair or not, it's a very easy application. So those I think are the easiest to apply and they're excellent sunscreens because they protect from blue light, infrared light, pollution because they contain antioxidants. So you're getting more skincare ingredients and properties in the sunscreen itself. And also they have some of the highest rating for UVA, which are the aging uh, rays uh, from the sun. And of course, UVB, which are the burn rays. So those would be my top picks for a very easy, simple skincare routine. A quick word on in-office procedures. Uh, Botox is becoming more and more common in men, frequently coined Brotox. Uh, another treatment that not a lot of people talk about, which I think is fantastic. Um, a lot of men are self-conscious because they have sweat stains. Um, on their shirts because just because of perspiration and putting um, injecting a tiny amount of Botox underneath the axilla actually stops or significantly diminishes uh, sweating and these effects can last from anywhere from 6 to 12 months so it's a much longer lasting effect than on the face because it affects different types of glands than we have on the face. So that's why the effects have more longevity to them. But that is a fantastic uh, little gift as well. That's it for men's skincare. I hope you found uh, the biology and the effects of testosterone interesting. I know I find it fascinating. It also explains why men tend to age a little bit more slowly. Oftentimes they don't actually because they don't wear sunscreen. So they have that natural slow aging with the blast of the damage from the sun and it kind of equals us out. But guys who take care of their skin often look incredible for very long periods of time. If you guys are interested in purchasing Skin Better Science, it's sold only through physicians and med spas. So I do have it available for you on my website and I will leave a link down below. And also some exciting news, uh, Zio Skin Health will be coming to my website, which I'm really excited about. It's a brand I've loved for a while now. So that will be available for you within the coming weeks, probably not before Father's Day. And please let me know if any of these gift ideas are suitable for the father in your life, whether it's your dad or your man or your friend, cousin, brother, whoever. Let me know. And I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comments. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.